Example two. Suppose the graph of the velocity function of a particle is as shown in this figure, where t is measured in second. When is the particle traveling forward, which means in the positive direction? The particle is traveling forward when the velocity is positive. This is a graph for the velocity function. The velocity is positive when it is above this x-axis. So this part of the graph that is above this x-axis will have positive velocity. So we see that velocity is positive when t is greater than zero and less than five. Using interval notation, that is when t is in this open interval from zero to five. When is it traveling backward? It is traveling backward when the object is traveling to the negative direction, which is when the velocity is negative. Looking at the graph over here, we see that this part of the graph is below this x-axis, and this is the graph for the velocity function. So velocity is negative over here on this time interval from seven to eight. So the particle is traveling backward when t is greater than seven and less than eight. Using interval notation, we can write that when t is in the open interval from seven to eight. Now, what's happening when t is greater than five and less than seven? We see that the velocity is equal to zero when t is greater than five and less than seven. Therefore, the velocity is zero and the particle is not moving.